Hi, it's Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Space Needle. Uh, this is one of my videos in the Great Building series. Um, I got a playlist for it if you're interested in seeing more. Um, I also have some other playlists for specific types of Great Buildings. Uh, those will be uh, down. Links will be down below. Uh, so here, Space Needle. Let's talk about this. This is a modern era building. This is the Space Needle in Seattle which was built for the 1962 World's Fair, I believe. And it offers a couple different things. We'll talk about in just a second. You can see them here, right? Happiness and coin. So this is what it looks like on its little tile card or whatever you want to call that, a little great building card. And here it is in the wild. So it's kind of cool looking. It gives it a little bit of height and kind of overshadows the buildings behind it. it almost looks square, but that's kind of deceiving. Uh, so um, that's what the Space Needle looks like. Mine is very low level. Um, not aggressively upgrading it, and I'll explain why in just a second. Uh, but I'll explain I'll explain my my strategy on on actually getting FPs on that too. So here it is. I'll jump over to uh, the wiki. This is the ForgeVampires.Phantom.com wiki. I'll put a link down below for this. Um, it's a great resource um, to learn about great buildings. So let's talk about construction costs. This is like since it's a modern era building, so you're gonna need modern era goods. It costs 500, 500, 450, 200, 100. So a couple at 500, that's pretty expensive. Um, it's a six by five, even though it's interesting. I guess it does look longer in this picture. When it's placed, it looks like it's almost square. Uh, almost looks like a five by five when it's placed, but it's not. It's a six by five. Um, but it does stand tall. And it kind of gives a little bit of you know scale to the city. It's pretty, it's pretty cool looking in that sense. Uh, that's probably why I built it. Um, it does require a road, just like every other great building. And what it has to offer is going to be coin production and happiness. So if you're building a lot of military troops by this era, by modern, um, it kind of helps with some of that. Um, you know, you're offset for your population for the happiness, and it's all part of that big mix. But uh, nothing, nothing too exuberant. It, basically, it's coin and happiness. It's kind of real fundamental stuff. But uh, at level one, you get 1,200 happiness, and then you get 11,600 coin. Level 10, you're getting 4,800 happiness, and then 69,100 uh, 69, 69, uh, coins. But at this point, um, depending on the other great buildings, I found, this is me personally, of course it's all me personally, um, I found that at that point, <clears throat> with a number of different great buildings, and literally no you know, culture buildings that are adding any happiness at all, I'm so flush with happiness, it's, you know, it doesn't really matter at that point. Like, where am I at here? Happiness, I have an additional 11,230 above and beyond what I need to stay at 120%. Uh, because you get some of the, any of these levels, these things all just compound um, phenomenally. So, and in this case, where am I at? I get 1,370 happiness at level 2 as an example. So, um it's okay. It's kind of, I build it because it's cool looking and I had the space available and I felt like building a new great building. How do I pay for this building as far as uh, leveling it? Because I don't really don't want to commit my uh, resources to it for the most part. Is I put it in the 5 FP swap thread in the guild. Um, so whenever I got some spare fives laying around, I just kind of throw them on somebody else's great building and use this building. And it's just got to let it, let it accumulate and then eventually I'll throw a big chunk on it and, and level it out or whatever. So, or if I have a stray one or two here or there, it's almost like pocket change. I'll kind of put them on this building, but it's nothing I actively pursue like I'm doing right now with my, um, with my CC, which I'll talk about that pretty soon. Oh, that's a great building. Um, so that's it. Not too much to say about it. Um, it's cool looking though. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Let me know what you think. Would you build it? Or uh, would, is it one that you'd save to the end when you trying to fill out the rest of the great buildings if that's your strategy? So all right, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay tuned. More videos coming. Um, continuing my series of great buildings.